So one of the things that frustrates me the most about Lightroom is the inability to delete images after you import them off of a card. Um, so I want to show you a workaround that I have for uh, doing that. Uh, for me, this is the, the best way to do it. Um, I don't want to reformat a card every time I used it. And after um, you know 10 years of, of using a card with Aperture, I've never had any issues with, um, with deleting images uh, straight off the card after import. So I'm going to show you, uh, if you have a Mac and you, if you have Lightroom, uh, how to go about doing this. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to Image Capture. Uh, you can just uh, open it up or search for it in Spotlight. Um, so you click on Image Capture. And believe it or not, Image Capture is the thing that um, uh, that processes or manages all of the ways that um, you import images or put a card in, what app opens, that type of thing. Um, so uh, you take your card, you put it into your card reader, and then you click on your card. Mine's called um, Nikon D200. You click on that card, and in this lower left, you'll see this tiny um, uh, little arrow here. So you click on that. And then it's going to say connecting this camera opens and you'll see you have all of these options. So whenever you put a card in for every card, you can come in, you can say, hey, I want these certain things to happen uh, anytime I put a card in. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it to auto importer. We're going to click delete after import. Now, this is the first time I use the card and I'm going to say import to and I set up this folder just called uh, purgatory um, for, for obvious reasons. It's named that. All right, now what you need to do is you need to go and find this thing called Auto Importer. Um, it's kind of tricky, actually. You can't search for it, so I'm going to have to give you the path, and I'll put it in the comments. Um, the path is your uh, hard drive with your operating system on it. System, library, image capture, support, application, and an Auto Importer. So I'm going to double-click on Auto Importer. I'm going to go to Auto Importer Preferences. And then again, I'm going to make sure that Import Folder is set to this folder that I've called Purgatory, which is on my a hard drive that's exclusively for um, images. Uh, for each import, create a subfolder name. I don't check that. And then delete items from camera after successful import. Click on that. Okay, now you should be all set. Now what I'm going to do is just for the sake of... Um, uh, this demo, I'm going to just eject this card. So now the card is ejected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to, um, I'm going to go over to this uh, purgatory folder. Okay. And I'm going to uh, import the card. So here I go. I'm going to put the card back in. It's got a handful of images on it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's automatically downloading each one of those images. Or importing, I should say. Okay, it's done that, and it's actually deleted it from the card. Um, so uh, really, all, once you've set this thing up, uh, all you have to do is you don't even have to look at your computer. All you need to do is just plug the card in. It'll, uh, it'll upload them to your computer, and then... Um, uh, you can just pull a card or, or you need to eject it, but it'll upload them and delete them. Okay, now that that's there, I'm going to switch over to Lightroom. Here's Lightroom. And then I'm going to go to this purgatory folder. Now, the only thing that this purgatory folder is going to do for me is, is house those images temporarily. So I can put cards in all I want, take them out, and whenever I import an image into Lightroom, I'm just going to go to this purgatory uh, folder. I'm going to go to uh, move and then I'm going to just uh, move it, let's say uh, my backyard shots into a subfolder. I'm going to click import and it's going to start importing those images and it's going to use move. So it's going to just take them from that purgatory folder and it's going to move them over into um, the folders that I use for processing uh, for uh, Lightroom. So it's built those, and let's just go back and uh, take a look at a folder. See, it's gone. They're no longer here. So that's all you need to do. I hope that's helpful um, for those of you who, who share a similar workflow to me. Just to pop your card in, it'll um, take them off the card completely, and then you just have uh, at any time you can just go 
and move them from that purgatory or temporary folder into Lightroom. So it's not ideal, it would be great if it did it inside uh, Lightroom, but this is a workaround for that so you don't have to mess with, with formatting your card or in a rush, uh, deleting them individually off your card or whatever process um, they're making you do off the card.